This is Professor Hans Rosling. I have just one little humble advice to you. Beside everything else, look at the data. Huh? Look at the facts about the world, and you will see where we are today. Unfortunately, Hans hasn't been following his own advice. First, we start with what Hans said, then why it's an error. So the world is much better off than people think. It is, yes. And if you look at things like population, the number of children in the world have stopped increasing. No wonder we said, thank you, steel mill. Thank you, washing powder factory. Thank you, electrical power station. So is Hans correct? Have things been getting better? And more importantly, can we keep making them better? Well, as a scientist, I have to say, not f***ing likely. Hans, unfortunately, like many people, confuse acceleration of use of non-renewable resources, that's coal, oil and gas, and over-exploitation of renewable resources and ecosystems as progress and success. This graph shows data from the Global Footprint Network. On the side is global hectares, or how much land in hectares is required per person to support their renewable needs. This does not include anything they use from non-renewable resources. And on the base is time. On the graph itself are two lines. The average footprint in red, which is increasing, and the biocapacity in green. Biocapacity is the ability of nature to renew what people demand. Our so-called progress is shown as a fall in what nature did for us, for free, and an increase in our impact, not a fall. It's also shown in the decline of species, many of which would have provided the next generation of antibiotics or possibly anti-cancer treatments. It's shown in the air pollution deaths, which now number 5 million plus, a number larger than the deaths from HIV, wars and malaria combined. It is shown in the increase in reliance on artificial fertilizers, water use and extraction of resources. Technology has only increased our effectiveness at extracting more stuff, faster than before, at a cheaper price. Sorry Hans, but this is not progress. Nor is simply slowing population growth. If we actually reach 9 billion by 2050, or 11 billion by 2100, and we cannot support 7 billion currently without doing so much damage, how can we possibly imagine we can make things better long term for everyone and have as many as two children in rich countries. Without a rapid, voluntary decline in fertility, well below what Hans suggests, we are stuck with nine billion disappointed people by 2050. Realistically, to have any chance of success, people in rich countries need to choose voluntarily to have one child. If you've already had more than one child, explain to your children the situation and encourage them to have small families. In addition to this, we need to make sure that globally, everyone has access to contraceptives. 